what's going on guys welcome back to the channel uh first off i want to give a huge thanks to flash custom transfers and straight out of content uh him and his wife actually gave me a shout out about my channel on uh, their channels and i really appreciate it i'm thankful for that uh i tried out their transfers in a review and i really like them so if you guys want to go check out their stuff and see what they got but i really appreciate that so i just want to let get that out there first to give them a huge thanks for that i really appreciate it and i wish you guys the best but uh today i'm actually uh, in the comments i had someone asked me how i press onto the top of hoodies so i'm going to show you the way that i do it i've done this a few times uh i actually never uh video recorded it or anything like that so i'm actually show you how i do it how I figured out the best way is you could use either the hat press if it's a smaller print or you could use your bigger press, which it would be a lot better if I had a smaller press, but for bigger hoodies like my size and stuff, you know, it works out on this 15 by 15. So I'm gonna set the camera up and show you guys how I print onto the tops of hoodies. Okay, so I have my heat press, it's up to temp. I have it at 370 for seven seconds is what they call this is a, a transfer from transfer express it's a goo proof and they call for uh 360 to 370 for your temperature and uh three to five seconds so how i'm going to do this is some hoodies come without the, the sewed seam all the way down this one does so for that if you're going to do something either just press it on the side of the seam i don't like putting transfers right over seams i've seen people do it you could or over zippers. I personally, I don't like doing it, but I have, my transfer is the ruthless branding and I have it split in the middle here. So that way I can go on each side of the seam here. So the way that I figured it's best to do this is either if you do it from the corner, if you're doing like a small one, you can do corners. You could use one of the pillows or you could use the hat press. Now for the bigger ones, I know with like medium hoodies, small hoodies, you can't really do it, but I stretch it over the press. And this is for basically any type of thing. And I just make sure I line it up. You can't get it that far on. So this is how I, I do them. Other people might do it different. I just make sure everything's lined up. It's a, it's a little annoying because it's a hoodie. But this is a 2x, so I could stretch it across. Probably for small hoodies, medium hoodies, you're probably not gonna be able to do this. You probably need a smaller heat press to do it. So I just make sure everything's just flattened out. Make sure my pressure's on right, which is uh, medium to firm, which I already have that. We'll loosen it a little bit because it's a hoodie. That's good enough pressure for me. But I'm gonna make sure everything's straight and I'm gonna go off this seam. Pull it to which way I need to pull it. Everybody could have their own way of doing this. This is the way that I figured to do it when I did a few hoodies like this. Just to try it out. sure that your whole bottom here is straight so it's not so it's not coming out crooked and I just leave it right on the edge here and I'll pull this hood this tip of this hood part down myself transfer over so I know exactly where I'm at with it just like that make sure I'm lining this up right we're gonna go above the other stitch line Thank you. 
Definitely if you have a smaller press, this is gonna be a lot easier. Center. Just want to line everything up, make sure everything's lined up on this side. I only did this a few times, so I saw it in the comments. Someone asked me how to do this, so I figured I'd just make a quick video about it. Make sure my press is good. Get the right out where it needs to be. This is going to be a hot peel. I let this press go a couple more seconds because it's an older press. And I know it's just, you know, wearing out on me. It's gonna be a hot peel. There you go. You can see that in the camera. I'll show it more at the end of the video. But that's how I do hood presses, or uh, hood, hood, hood prints on this press. Put them right across this, make sure they're all centered. And like I said, I don't like going over the, the, the stitching seams. So when I do something like that, that works perfect from, you know, the logo I came out with for that. So I'll show you guys now at the end of the video. Like I said, you could use the hat press too if you want, or if you get a smaller press, it'll work out for you. All right, so there you go, guys. That's how I did a hood press, right in the center of the hoodie. Like I said, if you uh, you want to do something, you could do it on the hat press, or you could do it on the corners of these. If you're doing little side logos, or use the, the heat uh, pillow to do it, but for something like this, if I'm just doing words, I could split up or you can get them hoodies that usually the seam will come right up and stop right here and you don't have the rest of the seam here. But for the seam ones, this is ways that I work around it to do it. So I'll throw this on real quick. You can see it. There you go. So that's it. So that's how I do a hoodie print. Just like that. Let me see here. So I can hold it up in the camera. There you go. So that's how I do my hoodie print. So if you guys would like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna keep coming out with some more of this t-shirt content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace.